and welcome to the build of my latest multicopter. It's going to be an interesting build. It's based around a hub and to that hub you add as many arms as you want. Um, I'm using my normal method, design on QCAD, print it out onto paper, stick the paper to plywood, double up the pieces of plywood, and then cut out the bits. Um, I've obviously done quite a few already. Uh, before you separate the two bits, you should check that these bits fit together nicely. Um, and then if you have to make any adjustments, it's easier to make the adjustments with them together. Once you've cut them out, make sure they fit, you can then glue everything together and you'll end up with something like that. Um, because we are using 3mm plywood, it's important to realise that uh, plywood flexes. Here you can see it flexes a lot, this way not so much. So when you cut these out, you need to be running long ways. Otherwise you'll get the flex in the wrong direction. The only bit that's different is the reinforcement bit. Uh, that is the ply going the other way, so when it's glued on top, you'll have one bit of ply going one way and then one the other way, and that will give the best strength. Um, and that's it for the moment. I'm going to cut out, glue up all the bits, and then show you the configurations. Go on, Em. What are you doing? Gluing. Gluing what? This. What's it called? Hex. A hex. Okay. Right, so I've uh, cut out all the bits, and with uh, help from my uh, little assistant, I've glued all the bits together. And I'm now at a uh, stage two be able to show you all the different configurations. First thing I'm going to point out, if you can see this, is I've cut out eight arms and on four of the arms I've put the motor on the top surface, which is the one that's flat, straight, and on the other four I've put them on the sloped surface. And what that allows is a uh, slight offset so you can uh, overlap the propellers. So now I'll show you all the different configurations. So I've marked out the uh, central hub with a uh, indication at the top and at the bottom and the slots that are double slots as I call them are on the sides at the moment. So the first one I'm going to do is a quad. So I'm using all the straight arms. Obviously these are just fitted in at 90 degrees. So that would be the quad. Um, that's the most basic, obviously only four motors needed for this one. Uh, you could obviously fly it as a X or a plus. If you decided you needed more power then you could go for six motors and for six you've got a couple of different options. So if you go in a tri configuration um, you'd still have to put motors on the underside but you can do that easily because the bolts protrude through the ply so you'd have to double up on each motor and the motors that are underneath should go in an opposite direction to the ones above and that would be six I think they call that a Y3 or a Y6 next one we're going to do is a uh, proper hex because we're overlapping we have to alternate between the straight tops to the angled tops.
there you have it, that's a hex. As you can see, there's a little bit of overlap on these propellers here, um, but there's about 15 mil separation between the top and bottom propellers, so it should be okay on clearance. Uh, once I give this a go, I'll make any adjustments to the plans if it's needed. So obviously the next one would be an opt. So this takes a little while. So there you go, that's the opt. Um, you get quite a lot of overlap with this one. Um, I'll have to try it to see whether the uh, efficiency is very good because uh, you're going to get a lot of turbulence in between the two propellers. And that's basically all the different variations. We've got on quad, um, three but with two motors. We've got on hex and then we've got on Opt. What you can also do in the quad, the hex and the opt is put a motor on the underside as well. Um, so in theory you could have 16 motors on this little assembly. Um, I'm only going to try 8 uh, but I can try the different variations and tell you. So I can tell you if it's different between having the quad with a motor on the top or bottom and how much difference it is from having the opt. But there you go, that is the uh, model. You've got a lot of different options you can choose from. So now all I've got to do is wire up eight motors. Bear with me. What I didn't explain while I was uh, going through the configurations is how the arms are held onto the hubs. There will be a hole in either side of each arm and you'll thread a tie wrap or cable tie around all the arms and then pull it tight to hold them in place. That way if you need to change configuration you just cut the tie wrap, change the arms around and put another tie wrap back in. As a final bit to this configuration section, uh, this is the tri but with a motor on top and bottom. Uh, with this configuration you can do three different versions. Here you can see there set 120 degrees apart. You could uh, sweep them further back. So the back two or front two, whichever way you look at it, are at 90. Or you could probably even get away with putting them on the sides. like that. Uh, you might have a reason to put a camera up the front here and then you've cleared the propellers out of the way. If you go for a configuration that isn't standard then you can generally uh, modify parameters or set your own mixing table in your flight control board. You have the option on multi wii and you have the option on the KK 2.1.5 boards. So I'm sure if you want something like this you could probably configure it to cope. Right so I've had a uh, busy couple of evenings and I've wired up all the motors. Uh, you should be able to see this. I've wired them in pairs and then wired them to a common Dean's plug. Uh, in each pair one motor will go clockwise and one will go anti-clockwise. Uh, and obviously I've got four pairs allowing me to go up to an opt. Um, to connect the power all together, you can see here I've got a 4 into 1 adapter and I've already configured this to a quad and connected two of the pairs to the power. Uh, provisionally I've just taped the speed controllers down um, so they're held in place uh, but it looks okay. I've screwed these down and used nylon nuts on the underside. Uh, the next bit to do is the flight control board. Um, 
you have the option of going on a plus or an X configuration on this model and you need to line the arrow up on your board to aim towards the front. Uh, also it's important to note that the motors need to alternate so this one's clockwise, this one will be anti, this will be clock, that will be anti and you need to make sure you get them in the right order. Um, so I'm going to mount this, you can see it's on standoffs, I think you can see that, you see that? yeah you can see that, um, so that will sit over the wires and hopefully tomorrow I can have a little fly around. My intention is just to try out quad, hex and opt. Right so I had a good day yesterday, managed to finish off the quad. I had a little test flight in the kitchen so I know it's going to fly. Um, you may have noticed that I've moved away from the all-in-one pro board and gone for a KK board. The KK board will be easier to configure for different models. So I'm just going to give this a little fly and you can have a look. So this is model number one, this is a Quad X, flown with self level on. I always fly the self level on. There you go, that's model number one. That works okay. So I've been having a play with the quad design and you can see I've just tried something a bit strange here. I've put all four on one side, 45 degrees apart, and the front is basically up here. And uh, to counteract the balance, I've had to put the battery down here. So in theory, this should fly. I've adjusted the parameters in the mixer editor uh, to the values you'll see on one of the drawings and we'll give it a go. So the uh, last attempt at a uh, strangely configured quad didn't really work, so I've just gone straight for the hex. And this one I've just tried in the kitchen, seems to fly well. But I'm running out of daylight, so I'll give it a quick fly out here, and that will probably be it for today.
So that one flies nicely as well. So things didn't quite go to plan today. I've run out of time. So this is the last configuration. This is the Opt. Um, there's quite a lot of overlap on the propellers, but I've just given it a quick fly in the living room and it seems to be okay. I um, think it needs a bit of adjustment on the PI settings, but I'll give it a quick fly just so you can see it goes. There you go, you've seen quite a few models flying. Um, it's been quite a successful build and I'm quite pleased with how it performs. A few of the models need a bit more setting up of the uh, PID settings on the controller, but otherwise they seem to work quite well. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the build and thank you for watching.